Hi, my name is Teresa Kovlek, and today I am going to show you how to make these beautiful trees that we have in the background here. So the first thing you will need is a ceramic tree. Uh, the ceramic trees that I picked up, I got them at Marshall's. So Marshall's, Home Goods, and um, TJ Maxx are all owned by the same company. I am working on a large piece of Yupo. Just because when I'm splashing on the ink, it does um, put a lot of ink onto my paper towels. And so I thought, well, maybe for an upcoming video, we could use our splash piece and see what we get out of it. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So I have my ceramic tree. I have a variety of the alcohol inks. The alcohol inks that I'm using are all made by Ranger. And I'll have a list of the colors uh, down below. The other thing I'll be using is the 99% alcohol. And what I do is I recycle my um, Ranger uh, alcohol blending solution. I recycle the bottles and I put my alcohol in it. So um, if you don't have any of the 99, you can use the blending solution. This is going to take quite a bit of alcohol um, and quite a bit of ink. So let's get started. What's nice about this is it does have the holes and I can put my fingers in there to help me hold it. And I'm just gonna start off with a base coat. So I'm just gonna sprinkle this ink all over. And I just take and turn it and just keep sprinkling. I really let the ink work for me and I just let it splash all over. So if I wanted to do the northern light, more of this effect here, um, I would let the inks run and then also um, I want to stay more with the greens. And uh, I love the stream for this. And I will have the colors listed below, but this is stream that I'm using right now. And because this tree has the grooves on it, I'm gonna take my sponge and my other ones didn't have these grooves. The trees back here had the slit on it right in this area. But it, this tree has grooves in it, so you have to just kind of work with whatever you end up getting. So I'm taking my sponge, and I'm just going to bring it all the way down. And just paint it like we're painting the whole thing. So this will take just a couple seconds to do. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Come back in, pick some ink up. Pick up a little more ink. So if you didn't see the video before this one, I'm doing the trees back here that have the little polka dots. Uh, super easy. Anybody can do it. And... Um, so you might want to check out that video if you haven't seen it. I will say my little sponges that I was using from the Martha Stewart collection kind of came apart. So the other thing you could use to do those dots is just a cute tip. So if you didn't check out that video, you might want to give it a look. So there we go. We got our tree basically all painted. And it's okay if a little shows here and there. Isn't that a beautiful green? So that's stream. Stream is a beautiful green. And we're going to set that aside. And we're going to go ahead and splash some ink on here. Or we can make it look more like the northern lights. So I think we'll just kind of splash some ink on and see where we go. 
And how fun is that? So it does help on the color choices. And this one here is the Limeade. And the first coat that I put on was the Stream. But look how beautiful. I mean, we could almost just leave it like that. It's so pretty. But we're going to go ahead and add a little Wild Plum. Just to give it a little pinkish in there. And I just take and turn it over and just splash it around. Now what a beautiful tree. Only took us a couple seconds to do. Super awesome. If we wanted to add more ink, we could. But I kind of like it the way it is. So we'll let it set and we'll go ahead and work on another one. And on this one, we'll go for more of that Northern Light look. So I'm going to take and use my little bowl again. This is actually an antique salt dish that I'm using. Works perfect. Got my little sponge. Just going to bring my ink. up and down. I want to cover my whole tree. Again, this is stream that I'm using. It's a great color for northern lights. And I need to add a little more to my bowl. Doing these trees, it does eat up quite a bit of ink and you will need to have ventilation in your house so crack a window open a window I'm in Michigan and I just open the storm door for a little bit allow some air to move through yeah it's cold outside but it gives me fresh air and again, I'm going to have to add a little more ink because these just, they do eat up a lot of the ink. So go ahead and finish off my tree here. I am painting in a downward motion. That way I have all my lines going pretty much the same way. I'm going to add just a little more ink just because I want that a little thicker in there. So I have the majority of my tree covered. And now to get the more of a northern light effect, I'm going to take some of that limeade and I'm just going to drip it in. And I'm going to hold it upside down so it moves. And now I'm going to come back over it on the bottom, which is up here. The bottom is up here because I have my tree upside down right now. And I'm just pouring some of this on just to help it flow downward, which would be upward when we have our tree up. And I'm going to add a little bit of pink just because there is some pink in those northern lights. And then this is my 99% alcohol. Again, I'm keeping my tree facing down. So everything is headed towards the top.
and I'm just looking at it, seeing if I want to add color. And I'm going to go ahead and add a little more of that stream down here. So the one thing that this does, the, the painting here, it takes a lot of ink. So you're going to want to have quite a bit of extra ink. Just adding a little bit of that green in. Now come back with a little more stream. Then I'm going to give it just a little shot of the alcohol. And the reason I'm doing that is I want it to run. want it to run into the other colors. Now I'm going to grab my heat gun real quick. Definitely has a neat effect. So what we could do if we want it, we could add a little more pink in there. And I'm going to add a little more stream. I'm very generous with the ink on this. Just letting it go down on its own. And now I'm going to come in with a little bit of that limeade. And I'm very generous with the inks. little bit of alcohol get everybody moving come back in with more of that wild plum little bit of that uh, limeade And I'm going to go ahead and dry it down one more time. set this aside I like it it's a little bit darker than what I want it and what I could do is come back in with a little alcohol and help it run a little bit more but I think I'm gonna leave it be right now so we got one more tree to do so let's go ahead and just shake some ink on it and go to town So this one, the circles are almost too small for my fingers, which is not helpful. I 
I think we're going to stick with more of the pinks on this. So that was some um, raspberry I put on. And now I'm going to put a little mermaid with it. I'm liking how the white is showing through, so I think I'm going to leave it. Through, so I think I'm going to leave it. Go ahead and sprinkle some more dots on there. That's what's neat about the alcohol inks is you really never know what you're going to end up with. Start splashing them all together and they can become all kinds of things. I'm going to dry this down a little bit because I want to add a little bit of pink, but I want to dry it down first. I'm going to go back in with some of that raspberry. So if you don't like the white showing, you can cover it all. You could even take your hand that has the glove on it and wipe it down and blend it all together too. And try just a little bit of yellow. You gotta be careful with your yellows when you're adding yellows because they can go brown. So you wanna be real careful adding in some yellow. a fun festive tree something a little different I like it it's definitely interesting so if you don't like the white showing again you can take your sponge brush you can take a paint brush and just kind of glide it right down the edges this one is so hard to hold because my fingers barely fit in so it hurts to actually to hold it but I want to finish it off so if I wasn't doing the video and I'm just painting this because I can barely put my fingers in I would just set it on the table and splash it, let it dry for a second, splash it, let it dry for a second. So you can do that with your odd shapes. Just set it on your table. So that is definitely an interesting tree. Pretty cool. I think I'm going to leave it. So I hope this tutorial was helpful to you. I hope you enjoyed all the Christmas trees. Again, if you enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up. That lets me know you'd like to see more videos. And when these are completely dry, I will um, take them and spray them down because I live in Michigan and I don't have a garage. If it was in the 40s, I would take it outside, give it a quick spray, bring it in the house, put it in a room where I'm not going to be exposed to it. But because it has been so cold here in Michigan, I am taking them over to my dad's garage, which is heated, and I spray them down in there. So what you want to do is give it a couple coats of the varnish. So let it dry in between uh, the coats, and that will help protect the inks. Then you want to go ahead and put the UV sealer on it because you want to protect the color. And... Um, you know, you want your color to stay there. So that's really important to put the UV on it. You can get it in the gloss or the matte finish. So it's just like um, your photographs, gloss or matte. I prefer the gloss on most items, but I do use the matte once in a while. Uh, again, my name is Teresa Kovlek, and um, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. If you haven't checked out the other tutorial 
that is on the little Christmas trees back here. That's the video before this one. And I hope you have a great rest of your day and happy painting.